And I mean, he plays with such energy. It, it just feels like it was an equal position. And five moves later, Report's position was collapsing. And whoa, have you ever seen this before? I mean, uh, <laughs> I, I have seen. It's almost uh, like Report first... is playing black. <laughs> yeah. D5 is already a little, I mean, this is a typical type of move, right? But D takes E6, he's like, I'm not taking that bond. I'm playing a Danish gambit in the in the Dutch defense. Knight C3 bishop before. This looks pretty nice for Black, I have to say. Big development advantage. Pawn on F5 clamps down on the center. Ooh, yeah. Castle long. Yeah. Uh, no, this is not trolling. This is a legitimate line. This is serious. Yeah. Rapport. No, no, this is not tilt. I mean, it might be, but I want to be able to tilt like this. Rapport just throwing everything at Saren right now. Uh, and uh, to be fair, it looks very dangerous. And he's also gotten himself a time advantage. Yep. Now, this is exactly how... There was a point in Rapport's career where he was playing these openings exclusively in over-the-board chess. He was playing c4, move one, g4, move two, knight f3, e6, and then g5. So this is the report of old that we all know and love. Okay, but does he have anything specific here? That's the big question. I think for, for, for a starter, he's going to have to capture the white knight uh, so that it doesn't kind of do anything uh, dangerous. But on the other hand, when you make a trade uh, with the bishop for the knight, you're also going to be opening up for the white rooks pointing down towards the black king. So uh, that's going to be a bit of an issue uh, in itself. Exactly. At the same, I felt like it had to be done, though, because now you need to get rid of that knight in order to push your pieces further forward. Exactly. exactly. Precisely. Exactly. Is that uh, your Yasser? Yes. But but what is what is this by 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 Saren? It, it was this a blunder by by by, by Nino? Because now a knight takes c3 is coming and, and black is just gonna win everything. It looks like a bit of a problem. Uh, and that's <laughs> while Nihal is, is taking a, a think right now. But since we've gone to the three minute portion. Uh, big things are not really going to be an option for them. Uh, he chooses to go for exchanges, the evaluation bar on the left-hand side, going crazy in Black's favor. Uh, captures will be made. Uh, Rapport starting out, capturing the, the white bishop and, and going to come in and capture at least two of white's pawn in the, right. uh, in the very near future. Well, it this reminds me of Vekanze 1973. I remember Johan Hjardersen uh, had a, a similar type of position. But wait, is knight takes d1 just... What is going on? What is oh, going on? 97 and bishop d1. Because here I thought white loses a piece, but no, bishop takes d1. Oh, and then bishop b5. Oh, and bishop g4 check. <laughs> queen, okay, Rehart says, forget about all of that. I'm going queen g5. White's got a lot more hanging pieces than black. That's all I know about the position. Yeah. How many pieces are hanging right now? One, the two, whites. three, four, five. But but white's completely losing. What about because... the rook on f1? Oh, six? Oh, my God. That's crazy. But here's the thing. The queen is hanging, right? That's the first priority threat. If white plays f takes c3, I think after bishop takes g4, black wins a piece because the queen is attacked from two different directions and you're going to lose the knight. And I don't think there's anything else that white can even do here. If you take d7, rook takes d7, and again, it's the same problem. There's a mate threat, and I think I think report's going to win this game. Within that the was a really moves. really good move with the queen. Queen g5, great intuitive, because he definitely didn't calculate everything here. He just sensed that with this overabundance of threats, it's going to be enough, and he can just take the rook. I think. Well, he has to take the rook. Uh, but then and he's going to have an extra, an extra Rook. one of those, right? An extra one of those, one of those little boys, King B8, and White's not even getting that knight out of there. Yeah, just B C6. We're going to see res. 
I think we're going to see resignation soon, but wait a second. Well, yeah, well, we see six in rung of one. No, you definitely can take on C6. The question is. But what if it takes on C6, you go rook B1 check? Yes. King C8. Well, here maybe I can mount an escape. Queen C8. Queen takes C6. King D8 maybe? Nope. That was wrong. Queen A8 and rook E1, I guess. I don't know. But then I had 93. I don't know what it was. I, this is, is still tricky. It, is Nihal doing it? Doing it again? Knight d two. I saw this but, move. But what I, about the rook? Seven. Yeah, you're only up a knight, quote unquote. And Black's king is still weak. I, I, this Nihal does pulls not this feel... off. Oh my goodness! Now queen d three and Black's king. And also, the Black Knight is not getting out of there very easily. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's a question of whether it wants to get out because if the knight moves, it, then the white rook will be able to join the attack and potentially deliver checkmate. Now the king rook d1 here. Oh my goodness! This is looking white very scary. This, white can win this game. I mean, black is definitely still winning somehow, as we see by the eval bar. But man, oh man, it's so easy to blunder the knight here. H4, I would just go H4. He did blunder the knight, according to the eval bar, right? H4 is such a good practical way. Queen F4, there's Queen C6 check. And then if the king goes to F7, you have Queen D5 check. And he's he winning the win knight. This, he's, he's going to win king. this game. Oh, Incredible my God. Incredible stuff. This is insane. There's I mean, just this is nothing working again. out for Rapport right now. But I'm saying, that because Hess and I were losing our minds when this was happening with Grishuk. And it's happening again. It's crazy how he does this. The knight is Queen. lost. White is up two pawns. And the position where we were basically saying it's game over, it, uh, it's... I think it, Rapport was thinking the same thing. And then after this move, knight c6 check. White literally has only two pieces left. And somehow those two pieces are able to generate a massive amount of counterplay. The game is over. He's going to win. Unbelievable. And Nihal did this with just less than 10 How seconds on the clock. That? that is special. That is just special.